Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw, Editorial Director at TigerFitness.com and Muscle and Brawn Nutrition CEO. Guys, this is hashtag AskBHUD, BHUD, the big, hairy, ugly dude. I have a question today from Instagram. It's regarding not being able to stick to a program. I'm going to address this topic in this video. Before I get into the topic, guys, if you have a question, for hashtag ask B H U D big hairy ugly dude. Check out the information below. You can hashtag me at Twitter, Instagram, or post your question on my Facebook fan page. Now let me get into the question. It is from Richie Avea or Avella, depending on the way he pronounces his name. The big hairy ugly dude probably pronounced it wrong. It says, Hey Steve, big fan, thank you, sir. I need some advice. I tried every program from 531, Wendler's 531, to West Side for Skinny Bastards. I can't seem to stick to one. Now let's focus on that point. I can't seem to stick to one. I'm a busy guy. I like going to the gym three days a week. My goals are to get big and strong, but actually enjoy the workout. So he's saying he wants to get big and strong, but he wants to find something that he'll actually enjoy. Any tips? His strength is 275 bench, 315 deadlift, 305 squat, overhead press 140. So those are decent numbers. Those are, um, the bench is intermediate number. Um, you know, the squat is uh, late beginner, early intermediate number. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're trying programs. You're not interested in the programs. But over the course of, say, the last year, a couple years, I'm not sure how long you've been training, you've been playing with different programs. You know what you like from these programs. You know what you don't like from these programs. And there is a reason you're not sticking to the program, and that is because you're not having fun. So first and foremost, you guys need to understand, and Richie needs to understand, that there are no magic programs. There are no magic programs. You don't need to stick to a program. You don't need a program. You don't need to find a program off the net, Blaha's 5x5 or 531 or West Side for Skinny Bastards or whatever or West Side. You don't need to find a program. What you need to do is just focus on having fun in the gym, use a reasonable exercise selection, and have some form of progression scheme. Know when you're going to add weight. Now here's what I mean about a reasonable exercise selection. On each training day, you need to lead off with a couple heavy compound movements. Depending on the structure of your program, a full body workout, a bro split, upper lower, whatever. You need to lead off with a couple heavy hitters. You also need to have a you need to have a good exercise selection. So these compound movements need to be good lifts like bench press, squats, deadlifts, barbell rows, pull-ups, dips, that kind of thing. You know the drill. So pick variations of these exercises you enjoy. If you don't enjoy the deadlift, if you dread it, then do rack pulls from three inches or five inches. Or if you hate dumbbell, mind muscle shrugs, use power shrugs. If you hate the squat, use a front squat. If you hate the leg press, use a hack machine. It's okay to pick reasonable reasonable exercises as long as they're similar to the one that you don't like. So my recommendation is to go into the gym, have fun, use lead off each workout with a couple heavy hitting exercises, then follow that with a reasonable amount of assistance volume. A lot of guys these days are getting into the minimalistic training mindset where they don't do enough volume. They don't get enough time under tension to build muscle. So you're seeing them build strength on these programs, <clears throat> these five by five type of programs, but they're not building muscle and they're wondering what's going on. They don't have enough assistance volume. They don't have enough work for their chest and arms and legs and etc. So I recommend about 18, to, about 16 to 18 to 20 sets total per workup. So Whatever you're doing, Richie, have fun. Take the best things from the programs you've tried and insert them into your own program. Go in the gym, not with an agenda, just go into the gym with the, own, with the focus on doing the exercises you like and the set and rep ranges that you like. Have a progression approach and just have fun. Don't put pressure on yourself. What you need to do at this point is 
Forget programs. There are no magic programs. It's time for you to have fun in the gym, play, evolve your own program, create your own program. If you find that you want to do a finisher for rear delts and you want to do um, like a run or stack where you start light and go heavy and do whatever and that doesn't work, well, do bent over reverse flies or try different things. Try supersets or whatever. Don't be afraid to play around. This is a long game. At the end of the day, it's at, at some point you're going to have to forge your own program. If you look at all advanced lifters, whether they're power lifters, whether they're bodybuilders, whether they're strongmen, whatever, they aren't following programs. At some point, they had to gird up their testicles, they had to take what they know works for them, what they enjoy, what they enjoy from previous programs, and they would play around with these things and they would involve, evolve their own program. That's what intermediates need to do. But more importantly than that, more importantly than that, you need to enjoy what you're doing in the gym. If so-and-so on the internet, if so-and-so in an article says this is the best way, this is the only way, they're pressuring you into believing that there's only one magical path to build muscle and strength. And a lot of guys fall into the pit where they... They believe they have to lock step behind this or lock step behind that in the gym. And if they don't do certain things in the gym, they're not going to see progress. This is bullshit. This is crap. Don't fall into the pit that that the, under, under all these beliefs that you have to do five by fives or you have to do this or you have to do that. It's bullshit. Use compound exercises. Use a reasonable volume. Have fun and have a Define progression scheme. Know when you're going to add weight. I prefer to maximize every set or push every set to near failure, stopping that set when you feel like you might fail on the next rep or when you feel like your form is slipping. I like to do that on most exercises except for deadlifts and except for squats because those are very punishing. I don't like to push those close to failure. But this is fun for me, this is challenging for me, and this is auto-regulation. What I mean by auto-regulation is that you go in and attack every set, maximize every set, and you progress naturally in strength from workout to workout. So Richie, I hope this video has helped. So guys, if you have any questions or comments, again, hit up the information below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hashtag Ask the Big Hairy Ugly Dude.